what's up everybody it's nerp here and today we're gonna play a ranked match um i believe i clicked my mono decay deck we're facing stubby so good luck to stubby and i believe this video is going out on saturday the day after the first uh the first scrolls top plays of the week People overestimate me. A lot of time in matches, people are just like so like scared that I'm gonna easily win. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the uh, top plays. Um, I think they were pretty good. Probably not the actual best plays and scrolls from the week because I don't get to see every single play that happened. Um, but it was definitely a good start to week one. And I hope I continue to get nice admissions, and you guys are really helping me out by uh, sending stuff in. So remember, you just have to email me, do whatever, just watch that video to see all the options. There's also an old Reddit post. Um, but yeah, it was a ton of fun to make, and I hope it was pretty cool to see. And nice little thing, uh, another thing in the little scrolls community. Um, and I hope you're all really excited for the, the Decay ESL this Sunday. Um, I guess I chose the uh, mono decay for this because I want to repair a little bit. Um, yeah, I think the decay ESL will be much more exciting than the order ESL because it is like it's more. I think it's less about luck than the order one. The order one was a lot about getting good draws and like. All that, yeah. Well, you mean you need good draw, good draw for any deck, but decay it really makes awesome mirror matches. Order is kind of just a, kind of like a race. Decay makes awesome mirror matches, so I hope you're all excited for that. And you'll see like Yolo decay probably normal mono decay like maybe I'll play and stuff like that. So um, I hope that is really exciting, and I hope I can win this ranked match, and I can get up there. All right, so we're putting pressure on that wildling. Feeling pretty happy about uh, being Decay because Decay crushes growth. So hopefully I can get a win right here and maybe this will get me back to 1900. I'm not sure where Stubby's ranked. You should also do like Slash like... I didn't say me at the end of that saving hopes. Um, but if you also do like Slash ranking like Stubby like just checking chat that'd be, that'd be cool. That'd be a nice command for them to add. All right, it's awesome. We're able to destroy that thing, and we are coasting through this match. Perfect. No point in putting you in front this turn because I gotta always win the next turn. Like, there's almost no reason to have a unit in this tile when you have this tile open because it can move. I mean, if there are some reasons if you don't want to connect against energy and stuff like that, but like, it's purely like just like when your opponent like it's early in the game, opponent has nothing to board. You want to have the full movability in case you want to move any anywhere. It wouldn't probably make much of a difference because it's just an oblivion seeker, but um, you know, it's good to do everything you can. So let's move in. Pressure all of. There we go. So it's probably gonna quake. And it kinda sucks that I don't know which doctor Rod you or Harvester at. Just those things absorb quakes. <laughs> well he could have cooked quake last turn, so maybe he doesn't have quakes in his deck. Maybe he's aggro growth and not like normal growth. But it looks like he is normal growth because there's a great wolf. Um well, Necrogan can win later. Lifesteal, that's a, I mean, Wish Docs is a really great job, but Lifesteal is also pretty good. And I will, I guess I'm going to damage you, put a ton of pressure up here. Everybody move in on the Great Wolf. And I can get a Witch Doctor right in the middle of things next turn. Hopefully I'm able to kill the Great Wolf, though. Oh. I need this curse monger so I can use like curse to help destroy that great wolf. Probably gonna have some protection for it. 
Okay. Let's see what I can do. I can play the Witch Doctor. When I sacrifice the Blight Bearer. Oh, he has Frost. That kind of scares me. Frost Scales are probably better than Quakes now. With taxing on Quakes. Okay. Um, we're able to destroy those guys, though. And we have, we're going to definitely take both those Witch Doctors. Almost got the Witch Doctors, like, just in time. Because... Now if he Quakes, I get a bunch of Hawks. And next turn, I'll put another Witch Doctor down. And now I think we're pretty safe. But he has uh, Frost Scales, as well as probably Quakes, so... You know... Okay. Sometimes I feel that the growth versus decay matchup is almost more uh, un un unbalanced than the um, decay energy matchup. Because I know, like, decay energy, it's like, almost, like it's really hard for decay because, like, they can't do anything to structures. But you see people like, like me, like other people, just win those a lot. And that's because it's. I don't know, it's just. I don't think, uh, I think the cake has a lot of direct L damage that helps it actually do well in that matchup. I'm just gonna get, now nah, I'll get the Witch Doctor. So, I don't know, that's what I think. But, growth versus decay, there's no, there's nothing you could do to a Witch Doctor without a really lucky rumble, and even then you need board presence, and decay has nice removal spells, and linguids, and all that stuff, so. Yep. Yeah, when I'm growth and I face decay, I'm just like, this is gonna be tough. I'd need a really good draw, and he would need to have a bad draw, which is a bad draw for decay is not getting an early witch doctor against growth. Because then you're in it. If he doesn't have an early witch doctor, you're in it. Okay, so we get some husks. Probably should have held off on that uh, witch doctor because now he dies with another couple of quakes or cross kill in a quick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and this is pretty good. I'll play the Harvester and Rod Eater. Um, let me play better actually. I'm gonna just destroy that idol with this Witch Doctor, and I'll destroy the wolf. Probably I shouldn't do that. But Sorry about that. I really have to move this like landline phone right next to me. Uh -huh. So let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm going to move you here. Put a I'm just gonna not really protect much there. Oh no, I have to put the harvester in the end here. That wasn't so smart. Whatever, hopefully we can draw another Necker again like we had before. That would be helpful. So we would probably win with another Necker again unless he protects those idols. But if he has any creatures, he'd probably start putting them down here. I fully assume another Quake though, but this Harvester is going to go off then. So it's pretty good I got the Harvester out. And I didn't place this Rod Eater that well. It really should be connected to one of these husks or more than more than one of these husks. Well, that helps. Now, is he gonna do a veteran this is harvester? Fang bear, okay. Well, let's get a necker again for the win, and that will be GG. So, I had a watch again. <laughs> um, so. We. GG, right? Okay. Awesome. Pretty quick win with the uh, decay. And only got five from that. Okay. Well, that'll be fine. Um. Quick note, so I believe this video is going out on Saturday. 
on Sundays, the Decay All-Star Series. I probably won't have a video like the Order one I had because I, I'm going to be away for a little bit. So um, I'll still have videos though. Probably just going to be normal judgment and stuff are ranked if I don't get any better ideas. And keep submitting your uh, plays to Top Scrolls Place of the Week because I hope you really enjoyed the first week. So I put a lot of effort into it and hopefully I get even more submissions this coming week. So, um, subscribe, rate the video, like or dislike, give me feedback, and keep on scrolling. So, I will see you all next time.